Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Kango Kiwi Ads and PTE. Hope you all are doing well. My name is Ritesh Tomar and in this video we will discuss the cue card topic, describe an article on health you read in a magazine or saw on the internet, which has been done for you by Tim Rutter, our native ads trainer. It, this cue card is one of the most repeated cue card topic that might come again in your upcoming IELTS speaking test. In this video, we will discuss sample answer, explanation of vocabulary used, along with the follow-up questions for round 3 of the speaking IELTS test. Cue card topic. Describe an article on health you read in a magazine or saw on the internet. So while talking about the cue card, you need to include the answers of the following question. What it was, where you read it or saw it, why you read or watched it, and explain how you felt about it. Over the last year or so, there's been so many health promotion videos around that were connected with coronavirus that I had given up watching them. So it was refreshing to see some information about healthcare that was different. Just by chance, I saw a short video related to general well-being and not about the pandemic. It showed a quite simple yoga exercise that purported it would have many overall benefits for a variety of health problems. These included easing leg and back pain, improved circulation and blood flow to the heart, helped with the sleep problem and aided in getting a flat stomach. Anyway, although it seemed too good to be true, it was very strenuous, so I decided to give it a go. The practice simply involved lying on my back with my legs up against the wall, my arms relaxed by my side. The information is stated to hold this position for 15 to 20 minutes, 3 days a week, preferably before going to bed. The video was posted on YouTube and on Facebook, both of which I use regularly for entertainment as well as keeping in contact with friends in the case of Facebook. I had been advised many times by doctors and practitioners of yoga to try it, but I had never done much about it mainly because of laziness and time. But as this exercise wasn't difficult or time consuming, I attempted it. Well, it's now 3 weeks since I began the regime and it has made a big difference in helping with the issue I mentioned. I must admit that the first time I tried it felt rather uncomfortable. However, I persevered and even after the first session, I could feel some benefit. I have continued with it and now it's part of my weekly routine and yes, I am glad I saw the video. It helped a lot. Now let us go through the vocabulary used. Refreshing, in this context, different, new, interesting just by chance something which isn't wasn't planned well-being referring to one's overall health pandemic of a disease virus etc that affects the whole world purported appeared started to tell the truth circulation in this context the flow of blood through the vein Strenuous, physically hard or difficult, give it something a go, try something, practitioners, people who do a particular thing and therefore speak about it from their own experience, time consuming, an activity that takes a lot of time to complete, regime, in this context a coordinated program for the promotion or restoration of health, persevered, Continued in a course of action even though difficult, uncomfortable or painful. Example of follow-up questions related to the cue card. Why do different people like to read different magazine? What kind of magazine do teenagers like to read? What's the difference between news on TV and news in magazines? Do people like to read news from the internet? Do people still buy magazine in your country? Do you think the people today are healthier than those in the past? <laughs> 